All right, let's take on the corrupt rot god on master difficulty. This uh, fight is kind of annoying because it's long and it has several different phases. But um, fortunately, some of those phases are really easy, like this one and another one that takes a bunch of jumping and things like that. But this one, you just want to aim at all these little pink spots on him. Uh, he charges at you like that sometimes. It's good to dodge to the side, either to the right or the left. Uh, kind of towards him, though, so that you have a nice vantage point to be able to shoot off these pink spots instead of, you know, having to, like, chase them down and shoot them. Uh, that's another attack he does where he kind of flings ice at you. Uh, once again, you just do the dodge to the side. Um, he also does a roar like that that kind of knocks you on your butt, but... Um, very minimal damage to me on that one. Um, then the one to really watch out for is he sticks his hands way up in the air and he does a grand slam down. That one you have to jump up or uh, it'll knock you knock you over with uh, ground damage. So um, just keep aiming at these pink spots, taking them out like that, and then he eventually ends this phase. This next part is kind of annoying. Um, this this one's easy, but eventually you have to fight several guys at once. This one I like to throw a bomb on the bat thingy, the moth, whatever you want to call it. And then focus on these two guys. Um, do lots of bomb damage on them. Um, and then this next phase is a little tougher. It's uh, two of these moth thingies, but also... Uh, several other guys so you just focus on the, the flying guys first um, keep that keep the bombs going I like to jump and then aim jump then aim and that gives you that constant slow-mo effect as well as it is just generally safer to be in the air while you're doing things um, this is just a pretty common technique in Kana and you just keep doing arrows when you can keep bombing when you can basically and then do a lot of AoE damage with the bombs. And this, at this point, it's kind of getting easy. Um, once I get it to these two guys, just finish them off, right? This next one is much tougher, though. Uh, once I dash into that wall, it's really annoying because the big guy is tough to take down whereas all these little guys try to hit you at the same time so I am not great at parrying unfortunately um, so I try not to rely on parrying I do it if I can but I found it personally I'm just better at trying to aim at those yellow crystal things on the big guy uh, he does hit me here, uh, and it hurts, and it, you know, but I just keep moving, keep jumping and aiming, because as long as I'm moving, I'm harder to hit. I think he hits me again right here. I should have... No, he didn't hit me that time. But I did try to parry him, and it just... Oh, he did. Yeah, there you go. He hit me on that one pretty hard. Um, you know, just keep whittling away at these smaller enemies while trying not to get destroyed by the big guy. Um, I really, I just, I, I, I am not good at fighting these bigger guys, so I do try to dash attack him there and I missed, so it's just, I'm having a really tough time. In fact, I'm probably ready, ready to give up, but I, I do manage to just persevere and keep going. Um, I eventually get my health back in the next, um, in the next phase on the, the big boss because there's the flowers so keep that in mind even if you do awful here it's not over you can always try to make a nice comeback so um, I am getting down to the last little bit here it's also good to hit those crystals because you um, I mean you interrupt him um, for a good a good amount of time to build the maybe throw a bomb on him and then come in with a heavy attack but here we go, you finally get some little rot buddies back, and we're going back into a warp thing. Okay, so here's where I desperately need health. I run immediately to go to a flower, 
and then and then I'll focus back on this big guy. So uh, similar technique as before. You just dodge to the side when he does his uh, main attacks. Except he has one new attack. That that right there, where this lightning charges up, and then he does a giant laser kame kame ha and and. I should have I should have uh, jumped a little later than that, so I actually got hit, and I'm you know kicking myself for that one. But it's still not over. I mean, look at my health. Like I should be dead by now, right? But I still beat him. That that's kind of one of the great great things about this game is it's never 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 really over until it's over. So uh, right there, he's going up high. So you know, make sure you're in the air when he slams. I'm trying to actually um, hit him enough to where I can grab the flower right there. There, yeah, right there. There, I got it. And I almost got hit again in the process. But <laughs> I just keep moving, keep shooting these little little pink spots. And that one's almost done. Okay, not quite. I need to maybe a couple more. Right. Okay. Wow. Okay. There goes the laser again. I believe this time I... Yeah, there we go. Double jump it properly this time. Now I need to dash to the side again. Oh. Jump, jump, jump. Yeah, yeah. That was close. Really, really close, in fact. So, I'm hitting the wrong side of him. And slapping myself because I'm a dummy there. But this time I get the right side. Well, the left side is the right side this time. Now, this this sequence is um, really, really easy. You just need to jump across these little platforms. They do fall once you land on them. So time is of the essence. You just keep moving. And then you shoot these flowers. So one there, one almost straight ahead of that one, and then a third one almost straight ahead of that. This next part is almost a hard right. You gotta make a good leap off that last rock and then hit the flower. And then there's a bomb platform here. Shoot it, land on it, keep going. Last jump, last jump, last. Okay, so these flowers don't have platforms, so you have to shoot them and then shoot the next one. That's really not easy, not not hard though. Now this next part is um, the last phase of the boss and the, the it's actually kind of tricky because he has a new attack that shoots several things from the air and it's it's awful but if you have your um, little yellow orb thingies on the bottom left there you can try to jump up and then send your rot into his into his back spike things so it's like these spears are stuck in them right so there it is. Okay, so this is his new move. You have to get the rod on him, otherwise he unleashes this really bad, deadly attack. Once you do get him with it, then you can focus back on the little guys, these um, these guys that help you get the yellow warps back, which is essential if you're gonna survive the next the next uh, big move from that from that rot boss. So. He does this big pink attack. You need to dash through it, um, otherwise that hurts. That hurts a lot. And then these these moth dudes are back. You can shoot them really easily out of the air. Just keep jumping and shooting. You know that's pretty much the fallback technique in this whole fight. You just because you get that nice slow mo effect in the air, and as you know, you're just you're just much safer in the air. So here's the rock god back. Um, he should be doing his attack here shortly, and so I've got my yellow charges ready to go. There he is, he's doing it already, so I need to hurry. Get the rod attack, there it is. Okay, so I barely, and I mean really barely, got that rot attack on, his, on, on the spears. And I was so relieved that I forgot about dodging all these other smaller guys. So, um... Does this big slam. Make sure you're in the air for that again, as always. Um, I do grab some more flower health because um, I got pretty low there. 
And I had enough of the yellow, uh, yellow orb thingies to um, still make it through his next big attack. So now it's it's getting down to the wire. I can keep just taking my time and and jumping and taking out these small guys because oh there he's charging up again. I need to hurry. Rod attack. Rod attack. There it is. Okay. So that's the third one. The third one is the last, and he drops. And that is the last boss. The rot god on master difficulty so I hope that helps anyone out there I know I had a lot of trouble with this guy just because of all the different phases and starting all over really really sucks but I hope this video helped you uh, like subscribe all that good stuff and uh, see you next time